there, this is Marissa Lorin from Pixel Scrapper and I am going to show you how to use these pattern files that you can download on my website. So here I have in the background here the pattern that I downloaded from Pixel Scrapper. And then this is just my palette here so that I know what colors I want to use. So let's get over here to the pattern. So I have four stripes. I'm going to select all of them and click right here on the square which is the lock tool. If you don't have the most current version of Photoshop you can only unfortunately lock one layer at a time. So here I'm going to color stripe number four so I'm gonna pick my color maybe this dark one and then get my paint bucket and fill. You know, Select the next layer select a new color and fill it in. Alright, one more color. Okay, pretty good. I'm just going to pull this up here so it's out of the way. Alright, so I have my stripes. They've all been recolored. And now, obviously, I want to fill a paper with these. So I'm going to come up here to Edits and say Define Pattern. Say OK. Then I'm going to open up a new canvas, make it the size for paper. I'm going to make a new layer. Then here, using my paint can, I'm going to come up here, choose pattern, and then that brought this little menu over here. And then the newest pattern right here is the one that I made. So then I'm just going to come down here and fill. So there you go, pretty easy stripe pattern. Now if you want to take it one step further, make it into plaid. I'm just going to duplicate my stripes. Then I'm going to transform and rotate them 90 degrees. And then you can see there's a little space over here. So using V, the move tool, I'm just going to align them over there to the side. Looks pretty good. Okay, and then just going to set this top layer here to multiply. There you have some plaid. Don't forget to color the background. I'm just going to make it this white color. Make sure you turn this back to foreground so you don't fill it with plaid. And there you go. Easy plaid paper.